let's see what's going on man there's a lot of views on this 2020 camaro huh all right let's see what it looks like look what huh oh my god it's getting hot oh my god y'all it, it, it's it's blowing out What the heck? Chevrolet's using Photoshop. I'll insert the picture so you get a better view. But how is it going everybody i hope you're having a wonderful day as always fixing the rain here imagine that i know you hear it about in every video don't you <laughs> before long it'll be so freaking hot and dry i'll be praying for rain but with all that said again welcome to the channel i'm so glad each and every one of you can make it today's video is something that has been burning up the internet especially youtube for the past 24 hours and what is that the 2020 Camaro. Yes, Chevrolet has finally released some details on it. I'm going to go ahead and give you what I know, which is basically what everybody else knows, but here we go. Let's do it. So 2020 Camaro finally released by Chevrolet and I'll put the link to the actual um, news release in the comment section below or description below. And is it a lot of great hoopla about this? No. Is it a lot to look forward to? No. Is there a lot of changes coming? No. So what is going on? Glad you asked. I'll tell you. Basically, they're taking a lot of things and moving them around between vehicles. <clears throat> Excuse me. From one line of vehicles to another line. They've created one more car, and I'll get to that in just a second, which I, I think is outstanding. But if you followed any of my videos before about the, the Camaros, the way they're going and everything, they're getting so freaking expensive. So expensive. So GM uh, or Chevrolet has responded and... We'll cover that in just a second. But the main thing is that everybody, ever since the, the 2019 refresh has been released, the bow tie, the bow tie, the bow tie. No, it's not the one that you see in the movies where they wear up here. No, not that one. GM and their infinite wisdom put it right smack dab in the middle of the bumper. And it caused a, oh my God, a hailstorm. People just did not like it. It was like you might as well have went in and pulled out their, all their teeth with a screwdriver, not even use pliers. But GM, or I keep saying GM, it's really Chevrolet. Chevrolet, listen, they've responded. They have now acknowledged that they are going to fix it. They released a uh, an updated version at the SEMA show, and I'll be putting photos of stuff in and out as we talk about this stuff. They put a, uh, a updated version where they moved the flow tie up to the grill, the center of the grill where it's always been. And they got great response about it. And they painted the front bumper the same color as the car. And it was uh, a really bright, bright color yellow. They called it shock. A lot of people refer to it as highlighter yellow, but it's really GM calls it shock. And that car got a lot of positive feedback and everything, so they listened. They're now going to move the bow tie from the bumper and move it back up to the grill where it belongs. It's going back home again. <laughs> now the biggest news out of all of the 2020 stuff, I think, is the new model. And really it's not even a new model. They're taking GM because of the conglomeration of a lot of their good stuff. And I have to agree. And what I really find interesting about this is they're 
they're listening to people about the pricing of their cars. Chevrolet Camaros have gotten so expensive. I mean, it's just nobody can really afford them anymore. You know, so what they've done is they've taken their base model, and this is going to be a base model car. They're taking their base model LT Camaro, the one LT, and they are putting a V8 in it. Yes, a V8 in the base model LT. And what that's doing is giving you a, a base model V8 Camaro, just like the old school days. It's, it's, it's wonderful, once again, to be able to go in and get a Camaro base model with a V8 and be able to run with, with the big boys. That, you know, the guys that think they're big boys, right? <laughs> but what they're doing is they're taking it, they're putting new, well, let's just say, they're calling it the LT1. Yes, there was an LT1 back in the day, I know. Second generation, there was an LT1, I know. But they're they're revamping it, they're calling it the, they're taking the, L, the one LT, changing it, making it a LT1. I know, tongue twister and confusing. But they're taking the 455 horsepower V8 out of the SS models and putting into the LT1. So you're getting all the performance and everything of the upper end SS models and stuff in a lower end package. And this is going to come in just under $35,000. I mean, it's, it's beating all the other manufacturers in price. And then you're going to have the performance of the Camaro on top of that. But what it's getting is it's getting new badging for the fenders, which is going to say LT1. It's going to have black bow ties and have the uh, probably a few things inside they haven't really mentioned it yet but they probably will and you're also going to be able to order it with different colored calipers and instead of red you can get orange if you want but that's not just on the lt models that's that's pretty much covering all the models except for the like the lt ones and i mean not the lt ones god am i uh the zl ones and stuff like that they're red already so but the, the other models, they're giving you a choice, red or orange. I guess some people really don't like red. <laughs> now, what else will you be getting with the new LT1? You will be getting the, uh, what do they call it? The technology package, which comes with the 8-inch infotainment center, and it all comes also comes with the upgraded Bose radio. So you're going to have a very nice sounding system. It's coming with dark tinted tail lamps. Those are, you know, those were really popular. Those come over from the Corvettes, you know, back in, uh, what year was it? 2015, they came over. The design and then the blacked out ones came over with the Win LE. Made it look really good. So a lot of people really wanted that. And it also comes with 20 inch rims. So rather than having to, you know, be satisfied with 18s or 19s, you can get them in 20, which up until now only came on the SS and UP models. And finally, the last thing that I know about right now that it's coming with standard is the SS hood. Rather than just the standard LT hood with nothing, no detail, just a few uh, humps and ridges and stuff, it will now come with the SS hood also. So that's, and I like I said, you know, I think it's awesome that they're putting in a base model V8 now. So it opens the doors to so many more people to be able to afford them and have them. Just my opinion. But who am I? Now, here's some more interesting news for the, the V6 guys. The 3.6 liter V6 is now going to be available with the 10-speed automatic out of the SS. Not the one that's in the ZL1, but the one that's in the SS, which is pretty much a truck 10-speed automatic. But that's pretty cool. It gives you a few more gears to, in your transmission, makes it run smoother, quicker. And anybody that's ever driven one of the cars with the 10-speed absolutely love it. I mean, it, it, it's very nice transmission. It gets your car moving and it gets it there quick. Now, not leaving you four cylinder guys out. I know a four cylinder Camaro, blasphemy. But not leaving you guys out. The four cylinder turbocharged 2.0 liter, you know. Yeah, unfortunately, you're going to be stuck with the six speed manual transmission as far as manual transmission. But you are now available, or yeah, you, you can now as an option get an eight speed automatic transmission if that's more you trigger like if you've been wanting the, the four cylinder turbo in your car for whatever reason 
Yeah, but didn't want to get it because you don't know how to drive a straight drive or you're worried about the straight drive uh, clutches and stuff going out years down the road well now you can get an automatic pretty cool for you guys too they're not leaving anybody out they're not making major changes or anything just small little tidbits here and there now i don't mean to scare anybody but i'm gonna have to put on my seeing eye dogs for this next part because it's a lot of little bits and pieces and like i said i've already given you the important stuff but here's a few other options that you can do most of this stuff was only available in like ZL1s or 1LEs or SS model. Now it's going across the board, okay? First up, there's a new color. There's actually two new colors, but one of them is the Rally Green. Now they haven't posted any pictures of what this is actually going to look like yet. So nobody really knows. I, I kind of got a feeling it's going to look like the green ahead before, which was kind of dark like a forest green not my style but hey it might be for you but like i said they haven't released it as far as color picture wise but it's a new color none the same uh you're also going to be able to get the a rear spoiler on the ls and lt which previously only was available if you bought the rs package so now if you don't like the rear ends of the LS or the LTs, now you can get one option with a spoiler. Now I don't have cost on all this stuff yet because it hasn't been released for the 2020 models, but I'm just letting you know that this is what you can do. And like I said, you can get dark tinted tail lamps on the LS or the LT. Also, you can get red or orange calipers now available on LT, LT1, and SS models. Whereas before it was limited to the 1LEs and the ZL1s. You can also get red seat belts. A lot of people really fell in love with the red seat belts for whatever reason when they came out in the ZL1. But you can now get them available on all models, which was previously just on the ZL1. Red seat belts, not for me, but you might like them. Red knee pads, you know, the, the, the knee pads on the side of the center console, you can now get those in red also. Which if you're gonna do the red seat belts, you might as well do the red knee pads, right? That's going to be on all models. Recaro seats are now available on LT, on the LT, which was previously the 1LE and up, right? The 1LE, the ZL1, and the ZL1 1LE. Now you can get them on the LT models. I wonder why they don't won't let you get them on the LS models. Hmm. Suede trim steering wheel and shift knobs. A lot of you guys really fell in love with the suede Alcantara steering wheel and everything but if you got sweaty palms or you spend you do a lot of driving trust me guys you're not going to want that stick with the leather but it's available if if you so are inclined or if you are so inclined i'm sorry i'm just got off work and i'm tongue-tied also you can get the alloy pedals like what came on the z01 you know the silver looking with the, the little small black uh places for your shoes and stuff to grip you now get alloy pedals you can also get adrenaline red or ceramic white leather now available on the two lt models which was previously only on the three lt and two ss models i'm not sure if i'd want white interior especially being a mechanic but i can see where in certain cars that would look really good now the adrenaline red I would really like that, especially in a black car. Also, and last but not least, the three LT cars now come standard with 2.0 turbocharged engine and the convenience and lighting package previously only as optional. You can now get it standard. That's pretty good. Three LT now comes standard with 2.0 engine and the lighting. That's good. But that's pretty much gonna cover it. Uh, there's a few little odd and ends, and like I said, I'll put the link below in the description box so that you too could go check it out and read it up for yourself. Like I said, it's been burning up the internet for the past 24 hours. Everybody's just, uh, like it's something grand, you know. Basically, the two biggest things is, they're coming out with a, a new car called the LT1, which is nothing new. It's just a 1LT with a V8, a few badges, and a few little trinkets here and there. And they're moving the, the bow tie back up to the center of the grill. Am I going to be getting one? Uh, heck, I might wait for the all-electric.
Yes, I still think it's coming, guys. Very soon. Maybe that's why they're not giving you so many more choices in the 2020 model. There's something up their sleeves, I'm telling you. There's something. But until next time, you know what I say. Get out there and enjoy those cars. I'm sitting here. Just got off work, like I said. Sitting here doing this video for you. Sitting in mine, enjoying the crap out of it. But until next time, I hope you have a blessed day. And a wonderful weekend. Day's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. But until next time, we'll see you. Take care. Thanks for watching. Ah, yeah. I know. I know. I'm old school, guys. Six cylinders don't do it for me. Four cylinders don't do it for me. I've had them. I've had them. Somebody else can have them. Give me a V8. And I'm not bashing anybody. I am not bashing anybody. That's just me. <laughs> See you in the next one.